what I'm sensing right now is the need for connectiveness. And that's your connection with others and more importantly with yourself as well. And right now you might be sensing different energies and a lot of people might be feeling the same way as well. And it's because of the inner and outer connections that you have created, what you've worked on, the healing that you've been through, which has changed the dynamics of the outer relationships that you have. And there have been some enormous shifts going on. And because of that, you may have seen a shift in dynamics. This is you changing as an individual and thus changing the relationships with the people that you have and the environment around you. And the reason for this is because when your inner energy changes at the core, and that is when you're connected wholeheartedly from your heart centre and you fully believe that, that's when you'll start to see the shift and the change in the outer dynamic, the outer connections, and the relationships start to shift and change as well. And this could be in the form of new friendships, new partnerships, new relationships, even a current relationship, the dynamics and the structure of it can start to easily change because of that inner work that you've done. It starts to change the outer connections that you have with the people and the environment that you're in. For example, certain relationships might present themselves differently. And it's because of that healing and that evolution and the journey that you've been through or The relationship itself might need to be approached differently and it's not always because of the inner work that you and I have done but because the the dynamics of that relationship has changed or the relationship itself has run its course. And this is because there has been a need energetically for a clear out and it's that enormous energy shift that I was talking about and it's not just about letting go of old beliefs and conditions, but it's also about the people that you have around you, people that you perhaps no longer need, people holding you back, or perhaps you just grew apart. But this is where the clarity comes from. This clarity is what will help you along your path. And with that, you will notice that outer connection energy changing. And it could be simple as you spending less time with certain people. But what this is doing is, it's giving you that clarity that you need not only with the wider community, but with yourself as well. Let me give you an example. The other day I bumped into one of my old friends and she's always been in this bit of a rift with her mother-in-law. But as she's been doing that in her work, she's noticed the the change in her a relationship with her mother-in-law. And it's that change in dynamics and she's able to create these boundaries and for her it's so important because she's able to reclaim her power back and that is fundamental and this is all part of that big shift in dynamics that inner calling that connective energy and the changing nature of relationships and this is showing up because it's part of evolution it's part of the awakening and the healing process and it's coming up stronger now more than ever because of the enormous conscious shift that's going on in who we are as individuals but also what we want and it's a theme that you can see happening throughout time and the world it's moving light it's a shift in dynamics and because of that shift in dynamics and relationships changing and becoming easier, detachment is also becoming easier. And what I mean when I say that detachment is becoming easier is because as the world is changing, it's becoming a lot easier for yourself and for others to become aware of who they are and their conditions and their beliefs. The thing is, we often forget who we are at the core Because as young children, we are influenced by the people around us, our beliefs and our conditions and even trauma that we carry on for years. And we forget who we are at the core. And it's until you've been through that healing process, that journey, that's when you rediscover your authentic self. For example, as a child, I always lived in survival mode and it's because I felt the need to people please because that was the only way that I could validate the love that I needed and it also gave me a sense of belonging to a family dynamic but as you grow and heal and you let go of those conditions that is when you find your authentic self and that's when you rediscover your personal power and the key thing is that is when detachment becomes easier it's easier to create those boundaries it's easier to let go of those Things that have been holding you down, that's been affecting your behaviour and the people around you. And as you move along 
on this journey, you will start to notice that these old connections aren't as thick as they used to be. It will get a lot easier for you as you start to shed what is no longer resonating and serving your purpose. So with the need for this connectiveness, which is not just to do with your inner connections, but your outer connections and your relationships, it makes detachment easier. And along with that, you will be able to feel a lot lighter and you will also feel that sense of rediscovering your sovereignty. So the outer connectiveness and detachment becoming easier are the two big things that I've been sensing recently that I wanted to share with you and I hope you found value in that. Take care. Namaste.